name is Stephen Hawking, not to be confused with a Stephen Hawking which inhabits your universe. I am an alternative version of that which you call Stephen Hawking, his bizarro version, so to speak, familiar to the evil version of Superman, but I am obviously not very super. Welcome to my weblog. Today, I would like to discuss with you the topic of Mars, and the prospect that we may someday inhabit the Red Planet. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments and I will respond to them in the following blog. I am looking forward to the fact that someday we will have a chance to populate the Red Planet, but I am more so interested in discussing the challenges as well as the opportunities which lie in the upcoming pioneering of space. I see this as an opportunity to further help our society, but not in the way you might think. Or, if you have caught on, I am not the same Stephen Hawking you have grown so accustomed to in your dimension. Imagine, if you will, a plan I have concocted for you to solve crime, war and poverty in the developing countries of the world. My suggestion is that we take the criminal elements of our society and send them first to Mars such as Australia was first populated. Criminals have an outstanding ability to adapt to extremes. If given the right technology to sustain life in a hostile environment, only the best and most brutal amongst them would survive. The blood they shed on the Red Planet could be used to fertilize the soil of Mars. They may also learn to adapt to their harsh environment over time and become an extremophile version of man one that are suited to fight our wars with the Middle East. I do not foresee these wars ever coming to an end until every man, woman and child of the religious intolerance that's called Islam has been brutally crushed under their faces, crushed into the soil to rot and produce more oil to sustain us until we are capable of populating space in the foreseeable future. On that topic, it would be interesting to note that we may also be able to ship the product of this evolution as a super soldier back to Earth to fight the enemy of our wars. In order to fund such a project, I suggest we take all four and eight to the current criminal third world population of our own planet. Their evolution would be free from the couchy feely elements of our society and create a new culture which is also free of the burden that our conventional thinking has laid out for them. This hell of an environment would become as a heaven and a better alternative than the hell we have laid out for them on Earth. Imagine, if you will, a new beginning for mankind free of the pussies we have created of ourselves free from the burden of misguided religion. Their hot, muscular bodies, plagued with sweat in the heat of Martian territory, might also supply us with beings free from the chemicals created by the fast food industry to mate with the fat, disgusting women of the future. We could also have television specials that would elaborate on the violent, Rome-like warrior battles they would fight for our entertainment value. Any alien entity could crush anything the future of mankind might produce, but fuck with any of these men and they wouldn't want to come visit their home planet. That is, if they were to come to them first. If they come to us, we should have a couple of these humanoid creatures around to strike fear in their hearts. For, as your peaceful Stephen Hawking has stated before, if they were to come to Earth, it would be much the same as Christopher Columbus discovering America, which did not turn out well for the Native Americans. Thank you all, and good night.